about that time of day. Oh, it's so good. It's a good wine. Keep that handy. We're back with the cooking show. And today, we're gonna make stromboli. Basically, you're making a really beautiful dough, fill it with cheese and a sausage, broccoli rod, pepper filling, roll it up, bake it, you're gonna slice it, it's beautiful. We're gonna make our dough first. So, in order to make it, we've got our mixer right here. I'm gonna put in two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. We're gonna add a little bit of honey. You can use sugar, I like honey. Then we're gonna do one and a half cups of water. I say to heat it to 115 degrees. Boiling water in there will kill the yeast, and if it's any lower, it won't activate the yeast. Basically, it needs to be like lukewarm, okay? Right on in there. Give it a little swirl, because the honey is dissolving in that warm water. The yeast is activating. When I say activate, you can see it. It literally comes alive. It'll start popping up in little like bubbles in here. <laughs> activating, oh, see that just pop up like that? Look at it, it's so crazy. It's pretty cool. It's a living thing. Anyways, there's a mountain or a volcano called Stromboli. I think it's off the coast or near Sicily. You know the game. The reason why you notice I'm drinking when I say the word Sicily is because once upon a time, I made arancini, and in that episode, I said Sicily so many times, and every time I said it, we made it into a drinking game, and I drank. This time, I'm drinking a red wine. Last time, it was whiskey. I don't care what you're drinking at home, but play along. I'm gonna add bread flour to it. Now, bread flour, you ask? Why the fuck are you gonna make me go buy bread flour, Faraday? You are the worst. Can I just use all-purpose flour? You can. Use exactly the same amount. The difference is that bread flour has higher protein content in it, which will then translate into more gluten. Now what that means is that your dough is gonna be a little bit chewier, rise a little bit more. I've got some salt, I think it's like two teaspoons or so of salt. Give that a swirl. This is gonna be added now into our yeast water honey solution, just like that. And we've got lard. Okay. You know what that mix I need. I'm gonna turn it off and knead the rest of it by hand, just slightly. So it's nice, it's smooth, feels really good. It's a very soft dough. This is gonna rise. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and cover it with plastic wrap, and it's gonna rise for about one and a half hours or so. And while that's rising, we shall make our filling. Heat this up, nice large skillet, medium, high-ish, and I'm going to cut up my onion. We're gonna saute that first. I had this as a whole half. Someone like, this is a half yesterday and like someone used some of it. So, just like this. I know who it was. Frank fucking Pinello. He was here last night cooking and I bet you anything, he stole some of my onion. Well that motherfucker owes me a slice of pizza now, okay? Got it Frank? I'm coming and I want some pizza. <laughs> just kidding, I love Frank, but not anymore. Two tablespoons of oil. We're gonna add not enough onion because Frank. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt. Um, while that goes, we're going to cut up some of this broccoli rob. Who can tell me something about broccoli rob? Virginia, cut to you. What do you know about broccoli rob? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna cut my broccoli rob, stems and all, because it's mainly stem, into about half inch pieces. Oh yeah, repeat. So that's it, also known as rapini. Good fact there, Ian. Thank you. I forgot that it's called rapini. I forgot that rapini is another word for broccoli rub. I'll teach you something in this episode, okay? How to flick your shit. How to toss your onions, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're kind of pushing it forward and then jerking it back. That's it, that's all I was gonna tell you. Hope you learned something new right there, okay? We've got our sausage. It's like four or five links. Spicy Italian. I'm gonna add that in there. Break this up into smaller chunks and let it cook. Oh, here comes the bride. <laughs> Everyone loves jingle bells. Hot cherry peppers, sweet cherry peppers. The reason you're taking out the seeds is not because the seeds are so spicy and hot and like whatever. It's because look at it. There's so many fucking seeds. Like I said, spicy and sweet. We're just gonna roughly chop them up. Just like this. Okay, we're gonna add in 
all of our rapini. Thanks for the tip, Ian. The heat from everything is just gonna cook it, which is what cooking is. <laughs> the garlic. Okay, these are big garlic cloves. Garlic, I'm gonna season it. Give it a whirl. You can turn off the heat. We're gonna add in our peppers. Oh, the garlic smells so good. I love garlic. Garlic, if you're listening, marry me. <laughs> okay, these are gonna go right on in. They don't need to be cooked or anything. They're just gonna get folded through. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is so good. It has nice bitter notes to it from the rapini. Got you, Ian. The sweetness of some of the peppers and also the heat of some of the peppers. What could you use this for? Oh, fuck, you could use some shit with this. Okay, chicken corn on green with this, provolone, roll it up. You could put this on toast. Oh, this is an idea. Okay, time out. Put this in the pasta, just like whatever. Mix this with pasta, with this, top it with the provolone and bake that shit. Oh, yes, <gasps> nachos. Stuff shells with this. Pizza nachos with this. It's coconut French, no, that wouldn't work. Not coconut French toast. Anyways, my dough has risen. It looks perfect and beautiful. It's nice, it's like doubled in size. I am gonna take two tablespoons of the olive oil and I've got a baking sheet. I'm just gonna drizzle a lot of this over it. And the dough is gonna flop out right onto this. So, you're gonna use your fingers to basically push this out. It's like playing. So I'm using two cheeses in this. I am using mozzarella and provolone. We're gonna spread our mozzarella over the top. And as you press the provolone into it too, you can kind of like smush it out even more. Oh, so good. Now we're gonna roll it. We're gonna take this, and this is tricky. It is tricky. So you gotta be like light on your fingers, you know what I mean? So you're gonna take it, you're gonna roll it up and over itself. Okay, so take it. This is fucking crazy. Okay, you might lose some filling, whatever. Just look at me, light on your fingers, light on your fingers. Hold it over, roll it over. We're on a big fat fucking joint, right? Oh my God. Like we're gonna tuck this under here, okay? See how it's open here? I wanna, I wanna just tuck that over. Taking this, see how it's open? Pull it and tuck it in. We're gonna put untoasted sesame seeds on top. Sprinkle it on over. We're gonna cut a couple slits into the top too. And the slits are there to kind of let out some of the steam so it doesn't completely explode and be crazy. 400 degree oven, about an hour. See you later, little buddy. Mmm, it's like a little pig in a blanket. But sausage and peppers and stuff, not the pig. Sausage is pig. It was a pig in a blanket. That's it. Take a look. Oh shit. This is fucking nuts. This is fucking nuts. Wowie. Wow. Damn. That's nuts, yo. You can see some of the cheese and stuff square out the top. Hey, yo. I'm gonna start slicing. I need to slice them into like one inch pieces. So this first one, it's not gonna have that quite as well of that roll, but you can see it kind of in there. Looks really beautiful. We're gonna serve it with my favorite, Mara fucking Nara. Just one of the mother sauces, in my opinion. And there you go. Little this, little that. Sicily. Give me a slice, give me a slice. Slice me off a slice of that stromboli. Right on in. Dip into that red sauce. Oh my God, it's so good. It's spicy. It's cheesy, a little bit bitter, balanced with that sweetness. I love this. The thing about this too is that, like I said, like I feel like this reminds me of my childhood. My mom, my sister, and I like getting stromboli, and like it's just like I don't know. It's such a fun, like fun thing to eat. Why don't more restaurants have stromboli on the menu? It doesn't matter. You can make this at home. Get the link in the description below. Click on it. Make this. Enjoy your life. Do it. You won't be disappointed. I promise you. Love it. All right. Sicily. He said it. Ooh, it's tromboli.